A young woman robbed of her childhood is telling her terrifying story for the first time. Her name is Bianca. She has no memory of her birth family. but She does remember years of unspeakable abuse. I feel like I'm just alone in this world trying to fight everybody that's trying to hurt me. She doesn't know her real name, doesn't know her birthday. She has no memory of her parents, but she has the scars, both physical and emotional, from her childhood. Every time I look at my scars, it's, I see her. She's referring to this woman, Antonia Trujillo, a woman she calls the devil. She was very, very evil. Just the, by the way she treated me. That woman named her Bianca Mendez. And Bianca says her earliest memory is being smuggled by Trujillo across the border from Tijuana, Mexico to Pomona. She was just four years old. She believes she was kidnapped. And living here on the street in Pomona, Bianca says she was abused daily by Trujillo, beaten, choked. I thought I was going to die. She also has these scars under her arms from where she says she was pinched until she bled. She had all her body, you know, full of marks, old and new. It was, you know, an obvious case of abuse. Cecilia Gracia, Bianca's third grade teacher, says the little girl came to school each day hungry, trembling, flinching if anyone touched her. And no matter how hot it was outside, she always wore winter clothes. Gracia knew something was very wrong and soon intervened. Through their eyes, we see inside their souls. We know what's going on. But Bianca was hiding another dark secret. This man, Juan Jose Villarreal, Trujillo's son-in-law, began molesting the girl at the age of seven and continued to rape her for two years. But then Gracia became her teacher and intervened. Villarreal was sentenced to 16 years in prison. Trujillo was charged with child abuse and pleaded no contest, but based on the evidence gathered at the time, she served only 28 days in jail. I believe that the, the uh, teacher wouldn't have called the police or the uh, children's services. I'm convinced that the girl would have eventually been killed. Mitchell Mara is a producer and political activist who spent the past year documenting Bianca's story. I've never heard a story like Bianca's, and I just couldn't believe that in this world, living here in this country, that something so horrible can happen to somebody. With his help, Bianca is reaching out to the Mexican consulate and to social services, trying to find out about the childhood stolen from her. Mora helped her find this photo, the first picture she has of herself as a child. And Mora recorded this with a hidden camera, Bianca meeting face to face with the daughter of her abuser. The daughter says Trujillo now lives in Mexico. She tells Bianca her real mother's real name is Valeria Valentina, possibly Valeria Valentina Soledad. Bianca says this is one of the many stories she's been told. She doesn't know what to believe, but she's going on camera now to tell her story, hoping it will help her find the truth. I look at myself in the mirror and ask myself, where did I get my image from? How does my mom look like me? Does she even think about me? Is she trying to to make ever to look for me. The Mexican consulate is circulating Bianca's picture throughout Mexico, hoping to get some answers.